coronavirus disease COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by a new virus that has not been detected in humans before the virus causes respiratory disease such as influenza with symptoms such as coughing and fever and it causes pneumonia in more severe cases. You can protect yourself by continuing to wash your hands and avoiding touching the face. Most people with COVID-19 will suffer from mild to moderate respiratory diseases and recover without the need for special treatment. Older adults are more likely to develop and suffer from underlying medical problems such as cardiovascular disease, diabetes, chronic respiratory disease and cancer. The best way to prevent and slow down transmission is to be well aware of the COVID-19 virus, the disease it causes and how it spreads. Protect yourself and others from infection by washing your hands or using rubbing alcohol frequently and not touching your face at this time. There are no specific vaccines or treatments for COVID-19. However, there are several clinical trials underway to evaluate potential treatments. The new coronavirus is spread mainly by contact with an infected person when it coughs or sneezes, or by droplets, saliva, or nasal secretions. The virus is transmitted mainly through small respiratory droplets through sneezing or coughing or when people interact with each other for some time in close proximity usually less than one meter. These drops can then be inhaled or they can land on surfaces that others may come in contact with who may then get infected when they touch their nose, mouth or eyes. The virus can live on different surfaces from several hours copper and cardboard to a few days plastic and stainless steel. However, the amount of applicable viruses decreases over time and may not always be present in sufficient numbers to cause infection. We know the virus can be transmitted when people have symptoms such as coughing. There is also some evidence that transmission can occur from an infected person even two days before symptoms appear. However, there are still doubts about the effect of transmission by people without symptoms.